Let's take a look at your world of entertainment and what was buzzing this week. Here's Lindy Wesitolia. Someone's made an honest woman out of actress Taraji P. Henson. Activists petition to get Chris Brown off Spotify. And Babes Wodumo opens up about her relationship. Okay, we have to start with this one. Over the past few weeks, the Twitter sphere has been speculating on whether Babes Wodumo was pregnant. It's after this picture surfaced online. She thought she'd clear things up. Check this out. <laughs> She recently did an interview on Metro FM where she ended up speaking out about the abuse she endured while dating boyfriend and manager Mambinja. The Grom star says they have also called off their engagement. Mambinja replied saying they've had their fair share of disagreements and he may have overreacted at times, but he's made no reference to the physical abuse claims. Okay, how cute is this picture of blackish actress Tracy Ellis Ross and her mother Diana Ross? This was back in 1991 when she walked the runway with her mother. She posted it on Mother's Day describing Diana Ross as epic and gorgeous. Hollywood actress Taraji P. Henson is now engaged. She posted this picture on social media saying, I said yes, y'all. Congratulations, girl. Congratulations. <laughs> One woman's organization is petitioning against Chris Brown, Nelly, Eminem, and the Red Hot Chili Peppers. They are saying these artists are accused of sexual assault and should be removed from the streaming service Spotify. Spotify has already removed R. Kelly from its playlist, but the group Ultraviolet insists that more should be done. R. Kelly's team responded saying that the R&B singer has done nothing wrong and that the allegations are unproven. The Cannes Festival just wrapped up this weekend, but of course it's now being overshadowed by the royal wedding. Here's one film from there that caught my eye. Let's make a pact that we will never be like any of them down there. Instead, we're going to be something real. Yes, something real. Rafiki is a movie by Kenyan film director Wanuru Kayu. She's the first ever Kenyan to showcase at the event. Rafiki, meaning friend, is a romance about two young women who fall in love. The movie has been banned in Kenya. The country's reclassification board says the picture promotes homosexuality, which is unlawful in the East African country. There's currently an ongoing case about decriminalizing homosexuality in Kenya. The film's been well received internationally, getting the nod for several nominations. It's also received a standing ovation at Cannes. And that's it for me. Till next time.